During the referendum, we provided the opportunity for 16 and 17 year olds to vote in what was an enormous decision about the future of the country. And all of the evidence that Parliament's looked at, all of the commentary that has been, was that young people seized this opportunity and they used it wisely to contribute to the debate about Scotland's future and to participate in the referendum. So we believe on the basis of that experience that young people have got a contribution to make to our society and it's really important their voices are heard and their votes are cast in the Scottish Parliamentary and Local Authority elections and the bill that we're putting to Parliament today will provide for that and I'm delighted it's commanded such wide support. Um, I think obviously like we're classed as an adult 16 so by right we should have a democratic voice. Um, I think to let young people be more engaged in politics you need to lower the vote to help uh, bring up that awareness. It uh, gives people their say and we might be able to change the mindsets of like other people and young people can work together with those people. Well I think young people they're not really they're not just the future but they're, they're current we're here we, we live the same as adults we can do everything adults can do basically so why not? It's really important that young people are involved in the democratic decisions of our country, not just at the time of an election. It's really important they vote in elections, and that's why we're providing for 16 and 17 year olds to be able to vote in Scottish Parliament elections. But we've got to make sure that our institutions, our policies, our whole processes are open to young people to express their views. So we're now looking as a government at how we reach out to young people. A lot of our dialogue with organisations like Young Scott is about making sure that organisations like Young Scott who are so connected to young people in our country are able to feed views in and thoughts into the democratic process so that Parliament's views and the government's views are informed by the attitudes and the perspectives of young people in our society and that's as it should be because young people are key players in our society.